Hilary Mantel's intricate novels about the court of Henry VIII cannot have been easy to adapt for TV. But Wolf Hall moves beyond the genre's mainstay of kings and queens in their lavish costumes to examine the politics, politicians, and machinations behind monarchy and power. The heretics you have around you must be put into a great fire. If you don't do it, you'll burn yourself. What heretics? I keep no heretics about my person. Here's one. If you marry this one, you won't reign seven months. Well, couldn't you at least round it up? <laughs> Lightning will strike you. Drag her back to the whorehouse. Oh. Before she feels my boot oh. on her ass. Oh. Take it away. Take it away. Woo. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here to accept the Peabody Award is Suzanne Simpson. Thank you so much. I know that Colin Callender, the executive producer for Wolf Hall, was very disappointed that he wouldn't be here tonight. He's in London, as are all of the people who contributed to such a terrific show. So I'm honored uh, to really thank all of you on behalf of Colin, the cast and crew, and to offer our deepest uh, thanks for recognizing this program. I also want to thank Rebecca Eaton, Masterpiece and PBS, Polly Hill and the BBC for their unwavering support and commitment to creating great drama. Certainly our heartfelt thanks to Hilary Mantel for such wonderful novels and to Peter Strawn for his brilliant scripts, to Peter Kosminski for his masterful direction, to Mark Pybus and Company Films for a brilliant production team and to the inspiring performances of Mark Rylance, Damian Lewis, and Claire Foy. I think this is one of the first programs to introduce Mark Rylance to an American audience, so we were thrilled about that. We're extremely proud of the show and grateful for the recognition from such an esteemed award. And I just wanted to add that it's been my privilege to work at WGBH and PBS for many years, and I'm thrilled to be here with so many colleagues and to that their films are recognized as well. So thank you so much.